Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I rant and I review. And today we gonna rant fam. Hasbro is bringing back the window boxes. Why? Because we told them we ain't putting up with this shit no more. You know, this is not what we want. You know, they're talking about they listen to the customers. Um, they faithful uh, fans. You know, they're bringing back the blister cards and the window boxes. Fam, you know what? Once you start messing with somebody's money, they all ears. They're paying attention right after that. When they start realizing people wasn't buying that shit, things change. When people start realizing there is a bunch of horrible box art, they're not for it. Now you're talking about bringing the window boxes back, fam. Now people can see what they're getting that's inside of that package. You know, a lot of that had to do with theft. And see, a lot of people don't believe me when I say when you steal from a company and they start losing money, people start paying attention. They start to pay attention because stores are starting to report theft at an all-time level. You know, people are bringing merchandise back saying it's not what it's supposed to be on the inside. Now, all of a sudden, Hasbro like, damn, wait, hold on. You know, they telling them you got to do something about this or we don't take your shit out of this planogram. Fam, you know what? I don't know if that was the thing that happened. I wasn't a fly on the wall. But you know what? When people are fed up with your ass, you know, uh, they make changes. And Hasbro seen the problem with the collectors because collecting as a whole, as a, you know, in general, is down. And Hasbro is one of the biggest manufacturers of toys. And, you know, their sales are down. And like I said, when you mess with somebody money, that's when they pay you attention. You know what? People say, Unc, I don't know what you're going to do by ranting and complaining, trying to get people to sign petitions, to bring the window boxes back, um, you know, far as uh, boycotting them and all of that. What is that going to change? You realize once you put your mind to some shit, shit do change because you are the engine for change because you are the one putting the money in the damn company. Without you, none of this shit going to work. Without you, hell, you know, the shareholders, you know, uh, the big CEOs and all the bigger people won't get these damn bonuses. And you see what happened. Their numbers went down. They starting to have to lay off people. But see, when you start realizing some of the bigger issues, not the smaller issues, I'm talking about the bigger, you worry about your customers first. Your customers matter more than anything. I don't give a damn what environment you're trying to save. I'm being honest right now. They said, look, we're going to have new environmental friendly plastic now, you know, made of PET or whatever that is. I don't know what that is. So uh, I'm just going to say it like that. I'm looking at everything that's going on, fam. You know what? Look, miss me with that bullshit. You found out. You fuck around and found out. You play with somebody realizing that you thought you was the one in charge of all of this. You realize once this economy hit, all of these numbers start crunching in people's heads. They starting to realize they don't have disposable income no more. They start checking out real quick. And once people start checking out, guess what? It affects your bottom line. And like I said, man, you know, the next thing they need to work on is these damn prices. Fam, I bet you some money. Them prices don't start going down. Watch. Like I said, people not picking this shit up too fast no more. They just like, hey, man, I got a lot going on. You know, it's a lot on my plate right now, fam. You know, I need to take some of this stuff off my plate before I do anything. You know, and I respect grown people for making grown people decisions and choices. You know, people are talking about that's what grown people supposed to do. Yeah, you do. And, uh, you know, but you know what? Look, you ain't going to work all those hours a week, fam, and not do any damn thing for yourself. If all you're doing is putting a roof over your head and making sure everybody fed, lights, gas, you know, all of everything is covered. And you, you can't have no fun. That ain't no fun. Sooner or later, you going to check out of that shit. You got to have a, a way to relieve. You know, like when I'm talking about relief, I'm talking about something that, you know, can take your mind off of problems and shit like that, fam. And that's what toys did for a lot of people. It's an escape. It's an escape to alternate, you know, fantasy zone where it's, you know, you, your favorite superhero, you got them stacked up. I showed you a G.I. Joe collection that somebody had that looks amazing. It looks crazy amazing. It looks insane. And that's what I'm talking about. That's the way your hobby's supposed to be. You know, it's supposed to be all lined up. 
But the biggest thing that I could tell you that's the worst thing about having collections and things like that, cleaning. Cleaning. You have to take all this shit down and clean. Most people only clean like, what, once or twice a year because it's a hassle. Fam, I'm looking at everything that's involved in this situation. A lot of people don't pay no attention to what we talk about. You know, they think that we're just talking. You got a lot of haters out there saying, wait, uh, you know what? You part of the problem. No, I'm not. The problem is a lot of people don't speak up. You know, this channel allows everybody to have a damn voice. And if another if enough of people make noise, trust me, people pay attention. You know, um, I noticed that some shit that I had said a while back was in somebody's feed from one of those um, Hasbro things. And I was just like, uh, maybe somebody else said it too. But fam, I'm going to say something to you. I want you to keep paying attention to everything that's happening. Look at these companies. They're paying us attention. But you know what? We had to say enough was enough. We had to put our wallets back in our pockets and leave the shit sitting on the shelf. Now they're feeling some kind of way. Look, you don't have products on most shelves. There's a lot of stuff missing, fam, you know, far as, you know, the de desirability of, you know, the actual toys. The packaging is horrible. And you sitting there like, uh, that don't display well. You know, for our brothers and sisters who are inbox collectors, hell, you got to have a good package art to actually... You know, make it make sense. You don't want no garbage sitting there. You like, man, look at this shit here. You know what? I I I I didn't go into all of this to do that. Fam, what I'm trying to say is make sure the stuff you doing works for you. Make sure everything that you doing works for you, not for every damn body else, because nobody else counts in your situation. Only you count. And I know you're like, what you looking at, huh? I'm looking at this Bowser Castle. I had just got it, fam. It came in the mail. It's used, uh just wanted to show it to you. You know, it, it needs some cleaning. Um, I paid like 20 bucks for it, you know, with shipping and everything included. Man, like $21. You know, I'm okay with that, fam. You know, it just needs to be cleaned really good. Uh, it's missing some stickers, but I'm okay with that. You know, it'll look good as a backdrop for my Super Mario stuff that I'm trying to do. You know, for the most part, fam. You got to take pride as a business um, and connect with your clientele. Your clientele been telling you, look, we miss the window boxes. You know, uh, it really sets it apart. You know, like when I see a lot of people collections who are inbox collectors, man, it pops when you could actually see the figure. But if you can't see the figure, fam, you know, you can have a damn bottle of ketchup inside the damn box. You know, people like... Man, see, that's what I'm talking about. You got to make sure things work for people. You got to make sure they work for your clientele, your core fan base, man. You know, people are slipping on collectors. You know, this is a billion-dollar industry. And you slipping on the people who put the money in the billion-dollar industry. That's crazy as hell. It's like you don't think that they... Um, have good ideas. No, this is what we're going to do. Well, we're going to do this. Now we need to talk to them about that cheap-ass plastic that they're using on the toys, that gummy plastic. We need to talk about that. We need to address that. We need to address the plastic. The window box is coming back, what, uh, a little later this year? Um, and they'd be in full swing next year, you know, but... My thing is for G.I. Joe Classified, Power Rangers, um, Marvel Legends, um, for the most part, all of that stuff, fam. You know, my biggest thing is bring back the window boxes for Transformers. Now, that would actually make sense, you know, because people are at now, they are um, big into their hobbies, man. And, you know, that will really help them. Because a lot of times when you buy um, Transformers without, you know, the plastic and every damn thing on them, you know, people done stole half of the damn shit out of them, you know. It's just crazy. Fam, with that being said, I am happy they bringing window boxes back. Now, I know a lot of y'all said, you've been crying for almost a year. You've been doing video on video after. Yes, I have. I wanted somebody to hear what the hell we talking about over here. 
If you do not voice your opinion, nobody would ever know there's a problem. If you don't say nothing, nobody knows there's a problem. Fam, if you don't put your wallet up and not spend, nobody would never know there's a problem. Once they realized the money dried up, they realized there was a problem. And they start looking at some of those videos on YouTube that people make. Start paying attention to what the collectors want. Kids are not buying these $30 and $40 damn toys. Come on, man. That's, that's just Transformers right there. That's $30 and $40. You know, like, shit. What? Marvel Legends, 22 to what? 25? Uh, Power Rangers, um, 22 to 30? Uh, Fortnite, 30? <clears throat> man, Transformers, like I said, could be 40 to 50. Them damn things are high, fam. And, you know, Marvel Legends and all of those other things, man. It's just what it is. We need to hold these companies accountable. Once people start paying attention to that, you are noticing what they're doing, they start changing shit up. That's what we need to have, a change. It needs to be a change with everything. I mean, these um, so-called... Um, Companies should have representatives, you know, or PR people that watch YouTube, watch what the people are talking about. You know what? I'm talking about on a better basis. You know, that way it could have chimed in and got it fixed quicker. You know what? When you shoot yourself in the foot, it ain't nobody else's problem, nobody else's fault. You got to take ownership for that. And I think right now they're taking ownership for it. Now we need them to do something about the prices. And the plastic. But to later fam, thank you for watching. Peace out. Oh, and to everybody who have subscribed, I want to say thanks, man. I really appreciate that. And to all the people who have been here, A1, since day one, thank you so much. I appreciate you too. To later, peace out.